Hi there people, so today we have a special toy. Um, you probably cannot recognize what this is. This is actually a part of um, our central heating. This is the gas head, which is basically the job of this thing is to, um, I guess, dose dosage to uh, the, the gas or just basically a valve. Because you have two solenoids and that's it and you can regulate the pressure and whatever else these other screws all do. So this one is supposedly defective. We had problems with the central heating and we had to let someone change this thing because I didn't want to uh, touch um, yeah, gas related stuff without knowing what I'm doing. So instead we got that guy to do it and I watched him and I now know how to do it the next time. <laughs> and I hope I will not blow up anything if I ever have to change it. But yeah, um, this is the defective one. I took it with me because A, it's something that you can show around and B, it has two solenoids on here. And in the worst case, uh, I'm stuck with two magnets, electromagnets, so that that's not that bad. And also, I can now take it apart and see if there's any visible failure. Um, because the last time when the the, the uh, central heating person, maintenance person, was there, uh, he said there's just uh, no gas coming out of it, like not at all. Which is of course bad. Um, so, I will see if I can, uh, if there's any f visible failure. It could be that maybe one of the solenoids failed, we're gonna find out or if the, uh, the, the membrane in here is broken or stuck or whatever. But yeah, so now I have to take it apart. This is the only screw that I have a real screwdriver for. I actually have a bit for these special security things um, but yeah those are probably not going to stop me I hope the thing is it's rather small so yeah I'm I hope I can uh, actually there is a bit to uh, drive this with a bigger screwdriver which I have somewhere down here um yeah there we go this thing uh, Basically, this is the screwdriver, and this is an extension bit for a uh, electric drill. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna take this apart and update you on what I find. Okay. So I got the screws loose, relatively easy with the uh, converter thing for the small hex. And the first plate is loose, and there is a, a spring under uh, there. And I'm just gonna place the camera here. Just gonna open it. Also, it smells like gas, of course, because there's still some trapped in there. So, and we have a screw, uh, not screw, spring, metal plate. Let's see, Do I smell gas. Yeah, I smell gas. Okay, so, but just a little. So, whatever this was holding in, well, it looks like a piece of rubber. Um, yeah. Does it come out? It does come out. Yep, that is... Huh. Okay, so looking at everything, this is... So it's held in by a spring, that way. Looks like it is sealing on this piece, like the... The, the darker part of the rubber here that you see, that looks like it's against that... Uh, yeah, can you see that? in there against the round part um, that is opposite of here so gas comes in here by the way um, and you can yeah basically see it um, so yeah I guess this plastic oh yeah this comes out too Look. Problem is, I started to like that smell of gas. That's probably kind of bad. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So this 
thing was pressed on here and should be sealing as we see there's like imprints on the plastic rubber stuff so yeah gas comes in here and goes out yeah here because this part on the bottom is the outlet so whatever this thing is um we're gonna f probably find out in i don't know a few minutes okay i'm gonna continue disassembling it okay so next part which is this platter on top here um we'll recall we um get gas from here from the left which comes in through here i cannot spot any other um exit in here where the gas could come out maybe this thing here i don't know if you can see anything down there um but i don't think that makes sense to <laughs> pipe the gas there so it's probably going through this um valve and that is going into this cylinder in the middle um we're gonna look at this cylinder which is like eh, you can't see that but in here yeah you're gonna see it in a minute so we open up the plate and we are greeted with a rubber membrane which was initially stuck to this but doesn't matter so we have this um which we can take out um this is just has a metal plate in the middle to make it a bit more rigid and yeah uh, presses down or does things with this um yeah for the record it has no valves inside and the only part where air could get on this side is from here which is also mostly clogged off but there is like this tiny screw hole thingy here in the back which does things that I do not know of yet, but I guess this is used for um, for pressure control because here you have this thing, this little hole in the in the corner. Then here on the side you have the pressure control circuit thingy. So I guess that this part is providing a uh, and well anti-pressure to hold this thing down and then the air comes from from the bottom here right from the bottom and tries to push this thing up with the help of the oh no wait it doesn't i'm stupid uh no this is going to get pushed this direction pushes this thing down which is opening up the valve as you see so gas can now flow up in here and out of the output and i shouldn't film the table um <coughs> but yeah so here is coming gas pressing down here with the big membrane to press down against the, the input pressure so that's basically the valve system itself and we're going to take a closer look at whatever is under those two plates i'm going to disassemble the left one first okay so this thing is loose now and we remember we had this thing on the other side um, which we cannot currently see like basically oh god my camera work uh, basically from under here this is where the, the valve is um, so let's take this off and what we see is basically a little lever which is used to push down contrast i need contrast uh, to push down this thing um basically this is <laughs> we can reenact this this is sitting on top of here like this and this solenoid is used to uh, I guess pull well yeah makes sense like every solenoid should be used to pull but yeah it's pulling something inside here up and it's of course sealed with rubber which is under some 
atmospheric pressure. So yeah, that is just the valve thing to basically the input valve. Now I'm gonna take apart this thing. Also, I wanna know these one, two, three uh, brass screws are all closed fully. At least that's how I got it. I don't know if the uh, gas person screwed those shut, but that would be kind of stupid to screw those shut on a uh, well defective part that he um, took out without uh, without even testing it again because he tested the last time and he did not do anything to screws. But yeah, also this thing which looks like a plastic screw is just like I don't know. It's called vent. Here in the middle it says vent. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stick this back in. I don't know what it does. Maybe it's just supposed to fly off if there's an overpressure, but that would be kind of stupid if this thing flies off and gas exits into, well, <laughs> the basement. But yeah, like this is P out, which I would say is pressure out, but just fully closed. These two, did they have a. Yeah, they had P in and P in T. Yes. Well, yeah, I don't know what <laughs> those two screws do. There's no, no markings under them. Okay, so next up, pressure. Like, and this part is now also loose. So let's take a look. Oh god, it's coming out in one piece. Um, I had it apart previously to just take a look inside. Um, yeah, I've got. Put it down here. Okay. God damn it. What is it stuck on? Ah, this plastic pin. Okay. So let's put this back inside. Okay. <clears throat> this thing. This long rod is the solenoid pin or whatever, which also has a rubber seal in here and well a pin this is another membrane which well has a bit of pressure behind it but it leaks out through some place i guess um ah yeah most likely this pin thing here which probably has a microscopic hole um <coughs> yep I mean, you can't see it with uh, the camera probably, but there's a tiny hole in the middle of that metal disc that's inside there. So, is there a spring? I mean, I guess there is a spring in there. Uh, because there's also one here, doing some different, uh, some pressure against it. So, yeah, there's probably a uh, spring in here and you can change. The tension of the spring with this screw, which is just the uh, the pressure, um, yeah, because like I guess there's some back pressure from the the outlet, which is currently over here, um, which is then pressing back on it and it's somehow regulating it. So <clears throat> yeah, then we take this rubber thing off here, which is just another yeah, so gasket thingy um yeah it's probably uh god dang it <laughs> i'm missing the word what you call these things actually like <laughs> eh. like these things <laughs> god dang it rubber rings o-rings but well, basically a kind of o-ring seal seal yes that's it well, word I was searching for was seal. So yeah, this is a seal against things somewhere. So uh, yeah, this here is a tiny uh, actuator thingy which is moved by the solenoid. Um, of course, also sealed against the, the lower side. Gas comes from uh, one or the other direction. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Oh god, uh, the spring is gone, but yeah. Here, other side, you see like this metal thing, there's a little hole in the middle, and if I press the thing, just a 
tiny bit doesn't move much um, it's plugging that hole so I guess um, if it's plugged then suddenly pressure can flow so basically this is a double valve system you have one valve that regulates the main which is this part the main input and then you have the pressure valve which well, because this does not look like there is different uh, amounts of pressure possible with this or maybe there's always going gas through when the main valve is open and if you push this too you get more airflow for high and low maybe could be but why the fuck don't you just use two separate valves and one just has a uh, I don't know a smaller uh, <laughs> pipe to it but yeah instead they do this complex over engineered thing okay so um gas is coming from here from uh here can you see this there is a hole here and gas is coming from here after it went through the main uh valve not the big one but the this one uh yeah this part so gas is coming from there and we have this here it's coming ah it's coming under the da, 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 where is it under this yeah there must be a it's a, a spring in there slowly pressing it out so it pulls an air again camera oh i've already filmed five minutes on this part okay <coughs> good so yeah it's uh, going it's pressing against this thing and it is also trying to move that way so basically it's coming through these two one trying to press against this thing and one pressing against this which is uh, normally open I would say maybe it's normally closed and uh, I don't know <laughs> can't really test it because it's in such a strange shape um, okay so this is then moving down this is the only way it can go here is this uh, hole in the middle which could be sealed by this thing looks like it is uh, you can't really see it but there's a little imprint uh, in the middle of that so let's see where would it go there's a tiny metal hole again here and yeah there so good so using the valve here it goes here into another tiny metal uh, disc with a tiny hole in it and in the middle it just goes into a dead end dead end and oh up into wherever that is. Let me take out the, <coughs> the thing. I hope I can take it off without breaking anything. This metal thing has come off before, so. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, so after passing that membrane, it's also going in here. So there's. How much? Um. Going through here, going through there. Maybe it is able to switch between two different types of flow. One is pressure regulated, the other isn't. Maybe that's the this valve does. Nah. Huh. Yeah, so I don't really know how that thing works. Let's see what's inside it because I know it comes out. Boop. Just a rubber stopper and nothing. So is this yeah it looks it looks like it is sealing the top thing. It, like the top is very shiny and this looks like a, a plug. So it's opening that way. God, this is complicated. Who builds this? Why can't you make it easier? Okay, well I'm not a gas uh a uh, heating engineer so I don't know but yeah so that's the pressure regulator which is regulating pressure and 
Yes, yeah, something I want to see. Uh, which one goes where? Okay, this one goes on here. Okay, that's back on. Back inside, let's see the side. Basically, I'm looking where this part is going. So there's seal. Yeah, there's this part is sealed off. Yes. And there's this hole which actually leads under this. Like, you can blow air through there because there's again a disc with a tiny hole in there. So, there really is. Uh, if it comes from above, let's see what would happen. Or what has to happen. Okay, you have to get a major overpressure, I guess, if you want to have gas going out the vent. But that's kind of bad. <laughs> okay, uh, the spring goes in there too. So to uh, complete what I wanted to actually do now, I, I did not see any apparent kind of failure. It could be that some things just had a piece of dirt in it. <laughs> That's why we had to replace the part, which is stupid. But I can now, of course, impossibly just put it back into the machine because, well, I don't know if, <laughs> if it's actually broken or if it was just temporarily. That's stupid if you... Do not have certification for this, but yeah. yeah let me. God damn it. Another five minutes. Ah. This camera is horrible. Always shutting off the display. Okay, so can we get this back? Yeah. Did I forget anything? Not that I know of. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna get it back together and we see if we can drive those. Uh, solid. Okay, we got it back together and hooked it up um, the pinouts I looked that up on the internet this thing by the way costs like 150 bucks on eBay whole thing um, so it will probably be much more expensive uh, from the, the gas man okay so I looked it up it's 24 volts it actually also says this down here so uh, 24 volts uh, center positive probably because you can switch negative much easier with uh, NPNs then and it's only low voltage so that doesn't matter but yeah um, center positive and it works um, I'm, I mean you will not be able to see anything I guess nah. nope nothing to see here um, but it works I blew into it and when you try to blow hard into it it regulates the pressure it, um, there's like coming constant flow of gas out of there so I don't get why we had to replace it probably there was really just a, a little piece of dust in one of the things yeah that's 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 really infuriating if you have to pay like probably 200 300 euros for a part which basically works, but there's a little piece of dust inside. And, but yeah. Um, I guess I can't change anything about it. Just know this one would actually work um, if I put it back together. Uh, so if the other one ever fails again, I'm just gonna put this one in there and probably burn down the house. <laughs> Because I'm not a certified gas man, but seriously, I watched him do this, and there was nothing special. He didn't take extra care. All he had was a uh, some device to measure things, probably like the gas content in the air. But, I mean, you smell it if it's coming out. <laughs> and yeah, this thing's back together, and I guess it should be. Uh, rather safe because of a uh, uh, well yeah I blew into it and it regulated the pressure probably and it also shut off when I took the voltage off so yeah and it doesn't work if you just power one of these two so that's also fine 
nothing nothing flew off and the only thing you can actually change is uh, the pressure adjustment which is well fixed with this uh, whatever it is the color stuff and these others I don't know what they're actually doing but they're closed they have been closed um, maybe that's for testing something yeah I, I can't tell you <laughs> Maybe he can, maybe this one is to open like the vent, maybe, I don't know. And then you can put your hose on there and measure the pressure so you don't, or the flow, so you don't have to uh, constantly restart the, uh, the central heating. But yeah, this one is adjusted already, so yay. Fuck this. <laughs> yeah, I really hope that there's actually something wrong with it. But we're gonna find out when the other one fails and I'm gonna put this one back in and probably blow up my house. Yay. Um, but yeah. It works. It, it's regulating pressure. Uh, pressure. It, it doing its thing. I wish I had a compressor so I could actually put some uh, higher pressure on here. But guess what? I don't. So I can't do that. And I cannot just hook it back up now because that is, uh, yeah, a, a lot of work. Well, actually, not a lot. It's some work. Let's let's call it that. Some work. Um, I also would have to go to the house that this belongs because this is not from the central heating here, some, uh, but from the uh, from my from well, not my house, but my parents' other house. Basically, it complicated story, but it's another house, and this is from it. <coughs> yeah, so it works. Did I actually show you, or let you listen in on it clicking, so I'm gonna just power it up. So yeah, it works. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't. Maybe I should have just give it a whack and that's it. But yeah, it works. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Fucking expensive piece of shit. Doesn't even come with a, re a good manual. It just shows you how to replace it on a central heating that is not this one. I mean, the this thing looks like uh, the one from our central heating. So here it is. But this thing is something we do not have <laughs> for some reason. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Well, it works. Um, and we also have one of these blower fans that has been... Oh my god, what, what am I filming? Oh, I'm stupid. Yeah, okay, we have one of these blower fans. Down here is the gas regulator. And I will also take a look at this defective blower fan. And I guess the only thing that's defective is probably the... Uh, either the person who replaced it or... Um, the electronics because I have another one of these well similar to this one which is down here and I god dang it I took all of all the electronics uh, well, I, yeah I took it off the board is somewhere else uh, the board was broken and I could not figure out or could not get a data sheet for this thing to properly drive it I found out like one pin is uh, PWM and the others are like 240 volts AC and I didn't want to play with that. At least I, I don't know if it even was AC, so yeah. You can still turn it, but yeah, no motor. There's like a, a uh, it's not a normal DC motor, it's a brushless one, so it needs some control logic. And that control logic broke and this one is probably the same. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna maybe take a look at this sometime in the future and I'm gonna use this maybe again in the central heating or for some other projects because it works Fucking piece of shit. Yeah so that's it for today and Next up I might take apart this radio if I have the time and motivation but now I have to do other things, so yeah, bye bye.